If you have ever wondered about Japanese bathrooms, you're in the right place. This is Inside Japan. If you are watching this video, that means you are curious about Japanese bathrooms. First off, I would like to say that this is not a video about Japanese toilets or Japanese hot springs. They deserve their own videos. Traditional Japanese bathrooms in the home do not have toilets and will not be included in this video. Japanese style bathrooms are sealed in such a way that water can go everywhere. That is because there are two drains in the bathroom. There is one in the tub and in the floor in the shower area. Usually, in Western countries, the shower and tub are combined into one unit and the only drain is in this unit. This means that the tub cannot be filled too much or it would make a mess. Japanese tubs are deeper than Western tubs and they are supposed to be used for relaxing, not washing. This means that the person using the tub has to be completely clean before entering the tub so the water can be reused. The water doesn't have to be reused by people. The hot water can be used for laundry as well. There is usually an electronic panel above the tub. This can be used to autofill, reheat or change the temperature of the tub. Many times there is an additional panel in the kitchen so the person does not have to get their feet wet to set up the tub. When talking about the shower area, there are usually two areas to place the detachable shower heads. The top is for standing while showering. The bottom is usually for washing the lower body, younger children or pets. People usually have a bath stool to sit on while washing themselves. This provides more comfort while washing and also makes use of the detachable shower head so specific areas like feet can be rinsed directly. The faucet is mainly used for filling things such as buckets. Japanese style bathrooms are usually found in houses and Japanese style hotels. Regular hotels usually have Western style bathrooms. As far as apartments and dorms go, it varies. If you have any questions about Japan or anything in this video, feel free to ask in the comment section or contact us on Twitter at InsideJapanInfo. This was Inside Japan and thank you for watching.